Hey guys and welcome to another episode tutorial with me Joseph Evans, author of The Secret Sequence Books and The Phoenix Prophecy, The Ember Effect, Soulbound, The Secret of Rain, The Last Goodbye and Glitch Girl. If you find my tutorials helpful and you'd like me to continue making them, please take a quick moment to check out my Patreon page and see the different ways that you can support me. If you do decide to support me, you can get a range of rewards as a thank you from me, including early access to these tutorials, voting on what tutorials I make, episode goodie bags, shout outs for you and your stories and even personal help from me. You can also get certain rewards by becoming a member of my channel. All you need to do is click the join button underneath this video or click the first link in the description of this video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a cover for your stories. Now if you're a skilled artist then of course you could just illustrate the cover from scratch yourself but let's face it most of us do not have that kind of drawing ability. You could also hire an artist on a site like fiverr.com or artstation.com but again most of us probably don't have the money to do this. So what are our realistic options for creating an eye-catching story cover? Well one thing a lot of people like to do is use screenshots of the ads that episode makes for Facebook and Instagram. Now I would not recommend this because you can tell straight away that very little thought has gone into it and you're unlikely to find an ad that represents the content of your story exactly. Another thing a lot of writers do is use images that they find online. This is okay in some cases, as long as those images come from public domain sites. Now these are sites that offer Creative Commons or public domain images ones which have no copyright attached to them. I explain where you can get these in my where to get episode backgrounds tutorial, so definitely check that video out if this is the kind of thing you want for your cover. Probably the most common thing to do is get an episode art editor from the community on Instagram or the forums to make an illustration based on your characters. This is definitely one of the better options and if you're friends with one of these artists, they may do this for you for free. However, you may not know anybody well enough for this to be an option, so I am going to show you a way to make a really professional looking cover yourself using screenshots from your own story and a completely free program called GIMP. Okay, first of all, you're going to need to download GIMP, which you can get from GIMP.org. Now, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to download and run this, check out my how to make custom backgrounds tutorial. Okay, for my example, I'm going to use a made up story of mine called Love is in the Air. And let's say that in one of my scenes, I have my characters kissing. Since this is a romance story, this would be the perfect thing to put on my cover. So I'm going to load up the story on my phone, take a screenshot and airdrop it to my laptop. If you're using a Windows based computer, you can always just email it to yourself. OK, once you've got your screenshot, load up GIMP and create a new document. Now here's the important bit, you'll essentially be creating two covers for your story, a portrait cover and a landscape cover. The portrait cover has to be at least 420 by 580 pixels. But to make things easier for us when we're converting it to the landscape cover, we're going to want the width to be at least the size of the minimum width for the landscape one. So let's go back to our new document in GIMP and I'm going to make the width 966. And don't worry, I've done the math for you. And the correct height you're going to need to keep the proper aspect ratio is 1334. And click OK. Then I need to find the screenshot that I took earlier and drag that onto the new canvas that I've just created. And I can just drag this around a little bit if I want to move these characters to the center. The next thing I'll probably want to do is add the story name to the image. So I click this A symbol in the tools panel over here and just drag a box roughly around the area that I want the text to be. And then I just start typing. So love is in the air. And I think I'm going to capitalize the words love and air just to give them a bit more emphasis. And of course, I'm going to want to use a much nicer font than this. Uh, a good place to get fonts, by the way, is uh, somewhere called dafont.com which offers thousands of free fonts. Uh, but if you do decide to use any from here, make sure that the font listed is either uh, public domain or 100% free. If it's listed as free for personal use or anything else, this means you cannot use it for your episode cover for copyright reasons. A good one that I have found from this site, uh, which is uh, free for commercial use, 100% free, is something called Roshida Valentine's. 
and I can make the font bigger just by increasing these parameters here. And let's make these joining words much smaller than the others and make sure they have their own line in the middle. And I'm just going to play around with these parameters a bit just to get the desired placement and size of each of these words and lines. And you know, I think I'm going to actually try this with uh, lowercase letters rather than these capitals because they're looking a little bit hard to read. Do you know what? Yeah, I think that looks much better. Next up, I think I'm going to want to add a bit of a shadow behind this text to make it look more professional and stand out a bit. To do this, I need to go to the filters menu, then light and shadow and drop shadow. And I can just play around with these parameters a bit to make it more prominent. Okay. I think I'm also going to rotate this a little bit. So I just select the rotate tool in the tool panel on the left hand side of the screen and then just drag any of these corners upwards just a tiny bit. And I think I'm going to move that a bit higher as well. Perfect. I feel like rotating it that little bit just gives it more of a handwritten look. Okay. I'm also going to add my name to this cover. Now it is completely up to you if you want to do this or not, but I like to do it just because I feel like it makes it look more like the cover of a traditional book that you'd find in a bookstore. And um, because my background is in writing traditional books, this feels natural to me. So down here, I'm going to write by Joseph Evans. And I think I'm going to use a different font for this one. And I'm going to make the word by quite small. Okay, this is looking pretty good already, but to make my characters really stand out as the focal point of this cover, I can create a vignette that will make the surrounding scene a little bit darker. To do that, I need to create a new layer using this new layer button at the bottom of this layers panel, and then click on background color. As long as your background color is black, then click OK. Then I need to select the ellipses tool and just drag an oval roughly around the area where my characters are. Then I need to go to the select menu, click on feather and feather this selection by about 300 pixels. Then I need to go to the edit menu and select clear. And as you can see, it clears a very nice feathered oval from this black to reveal our characters. Now, of course, this is still way too extreme of a vignette. So first of all, we should take the opacity down a little bit. And then where it says mode normal, Let's select that and change it to soft light. And this now looks way more dramatic. Okay, there's only one more thing that I want to add to this. And that's a lens flare because I just absolutely love lens flares. One of the public domain image sites that I use is pixabay.com. And luckily these guys have plenty of lens flares to choose from. I think I'm going to go with this one right here. So I just download that, drag that onto my canvas. And I can move this around a bit and to remove all of the black from this image. So we only have the light. What I need to do is go to this mode again and change it from normal to addition. And now it seems like this sunset is just breaking through behind the guy's shoulder. And I hope you guys will agree that this is now looking like a pretty decent episode story cover. So to export this to use in episode, we need to go to file, then export. And I'll call this love is in the air portrait. And don't worry about any of these options here. Just leave them all as they are and click export again. Then go to our episode portal, choose file, select everything. And there we have it guys, our very own episode cover that we have made from scratch completely free. So I've got my main portrait cover, but what about this landscape one that is required? Thankfully, because I set the width of this one to the minimum required width of the landscape cover, it's not going to be too difficult to modify our one that we've already made to create this new one. So let's go back to GIMP, then go to the image menu, select canvas size, and we need to change the height of the canvas to 642. Then click on resize. And now I just have to move a few things around and we'll be done in no time. So how about we put the title of the story on the left here somewhere and let's resize that right down so it's much smaller. Maybe something like that. And I'm going to move my 
characters over to the right a bit so they make room for the title and don't forget to move this lens flare as well and then I can bring my author name just up to the bottom of this one and maybe resize that one down as well place that back in the center and then just export that one as well so click on export as and I'll just change the word portrait to landscape go back to our portal click on choose file and we can upload that one just drag that to cover the entirety of it and there we go guys that is our landscape one sorted in a matter of minutes so guys that is how you create a cover for your story using tools that are completely and utterly free if this tutorial has helped you in any way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the helpful tutorials that I've got coming up. And if you'd like to support me and get some exciting rewards like early access to these tutorials and personal help from me, head over to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash author Joseph Evans, or click the join button underneath this video. If you have any questions about any of this, make sure to comment them down below. And if you know the answer to anyone else's questions in the comments, it would be great if you could give them a quick answer to help them out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Good luck creating your own covers, and I will see you all in my next video.